okay in this video I'm going to show you how to create tables now let's see I have already have a database known as samples when I write when I actually click over it as you can see in the tables columns there are only systems tables available in this database because this is empty database that has been created now right click the tables and select new tables new table there we are okay let's enter some of the column names that is the field name okay I will select the amp id it is giving me ncar okay if I write down click here I can see all the data types that I can select from I can even type it directly not necessary that I have to actually go and select In the first field it says allow null in the right I cannot because this is going to be my primary key of the table next column are the other fields yeah. this is actually selected as allow null which means that this will allow the null you can choose from the drop down list box if you want I am going in directly putting the data type directly you can choose it from the drop down list box if you want or you can type it directly depending upon what you like to do active status this is a bit ok it shows whether the employee is active or not then there is a gender male character date of joining we have date date of termination if the employee has service has been terminated he no longer works with the organization then we have a date of birth okay then we may have an email address address and then we can type where there let's make it 40 maybe somebody has that big address ok now I will close this box which will ask me to give me a name to save it ask for the name to save it I'll give it a name employee now the employee table has been saved now let's go and again it has disappeared from the screen ok what we had added let's go and right click the employee table
just go and right click the employee table okay and it should allow you to it will show you some options in the menu select design from the options listed in the menu and you will be back in the table designing click on the emp id okay and set this thing as a set primary key and as you can see that the primary key has been set now there are column properties as you can see here so here they are it says allow null first is the name of the field and allow null no because this is going to this is already a primary key this will be having a clustered index on it data type bar cat length is specified here you can change it from here also not a problem correlation is something actually if you want to change it if you are in a different country and you use a different correlation you can change it here this is computed column computed column you have to enter a formula if you are putting a computed column so this is a condensed data data type that we will skip right now full index and all these things Okay. is indexable yes and then there are other options that we are not going to cover in the create table create table this time okay now let's go and take agenda field and then i am going to add a default type here in agenda let m stands for mail as you can see it has added the codes automatically okay so i have already specified one of the constant that is this sorry one of the default and that is the m Okay, so those two constants have been actually added. One is the primary key constant, the other is a default constant. Okay, so let's go and close the table. Now we have created a table. Now let's script the table and see what it actually shows in the script. as you can see from the menu okay when i i right click the employee table i have this menu that shows script table create to new query and i'm going to select the new query window there we are already has scripted the table what we i have created right now okay it shows the there is a constant okay already okay that is for the mail default as a gender that constant has been added and there is another constant here in the table that is the primary key constant now let's close this thing now let's add one more table to it select new table okay i already added three fields employee id position and salary this is a salary table which contains of information of the salary of the employee now i am going to just i have selected this thing again this is a allow null is not actually it does not allow the null because this is going to become a foreign key of in this table okay let's go and save this table right now as you can see i have already saved the table okay now let's go to the other options in the tables okay. you will see there is an option as a key okay. now we want to add a foreign key to the salary table select the new foreign key okay it already has given a name 
okay go to the table columns here table and column specification now it allows you to select the tables where is the primary key is in the employee table the foreign key is in the salary table what are the key name okay employee id and here also i have to select the employee id because employee id is the foreign key in the salary table and click it okay and close it now we have created two tables and we have also defined the relationship let's go and check it the relationship go to the diagrams okay and select new right click and select new add both the tables here you will see the relationship between both the tables okay there we are there is a relationship and the amp id is the foreign key the amp id in the employee table is the primary key that's how the tables are created and how the relationship has been set now let's close this thing let's add one more constant go to the tables employees okay click the constant there is already one constant that has been added okay right click and select a new constant okay before selecting a new constant remember that your you select the right field here okay that has gender has to be opened you open the table in a design mode and click it on the gendered field where you want to add a constant okay and let's go and change it in the description gender equals to m or gender equals to f that is male or female click go to the expression where you should be putting the same expression that is just a description you can give it a name also and click okay description is just a text it can be anything i could have said male and female also the expression is was what counts remember that thing okay the name is already actually given for its the constant by automatically by sql server if you want you can change the name here okay let's say employee gender and that's it close it we have actually added one more constant go and refresh it and see okay one more constant has been added now one more time we will script the table and then we will end this session right click and as i already have shown it to you select the script from the menu it to the new query window and there you can see that one more constant has been added to the table okay i have scripted the sql okay there it is it says all the table add constant check okay the gender is male or female that's it i'll end it here i have shown you how to create a table